Hello. So, um, this summer I took a class, um, for a minor in healthness, health and wellness coach. And, um, uh, one of the assignments that I had to do, one of the projects, was, um, to, um, change a behavior of mine. And it includes, uh, setting a SMART goal. So mine was to, um, eat a fruit every day and use a table chart based on a yes or no answer system. Basically, I would test it for a week and then go over the results, reflect on them, and um, that way I could stay motivated. And so this falls into the physical dimension of wellness. I chose this goal of eating fruit because my family and I don't really eat fruit, uh, not as much as we should, and um, I just wanted to uh, start with something simple. Uh, this is important because in order to succeed, one has to take baby steps, especially when you're new to this. Um, not to mention that eating more fruit is um, health, healthy, um, of course, but like it gives you more energy um, and it makes um, it decreases the risk of fruit going bad and then having to be thrown away, which I really hate when that happens. Um, I chose this uh, versus drinking more water or exercising because um, it doesn't, it really affects, like, having to throw away that food, knowing that you could have eaten it, you know? And it's easier to track than to, like, how much water did you drink or, like, how much exercise or, like, it's more measurable, it's more, more visual in a way. So that's why I picked it. I was successful? Yes and no. Um, I had to, um... Revise my my goal kinda I didn't really have to change it I just had to change my behavior uh, because um, I know I could have done better <laughs> some obstacles I had was being lazy uh, forgetting to like actually eat fruit um, the reason why is because in order to consume the fruit you have to um, wash it Depending on what it is, you have to peel it, remove the seeds, all that stuff. Um, some of the victories I had was like checking off on the uh, on the chart. Uh, like I'm like, yes, I ate fruit today, yay! Um, I don't have to worry about it anymore. So that, that was a few victories. Um, another one would be like like uh, like saving a banana. Uh, I really enjoyed. Um, freezing it because that means that it wouldn't go to waste it wouldn't like ripe more in the fridge but it would be frozen it would be uh the ripening process would be stopped and um when i ate it it would be cold it would be uh different from room temperature and so um another um well an, an issue that had to do with freezing fruit was having to wait for it to like cool off because um, most of the containers that I use the fruit to freeze them in are plastic. So if you get, grab a fork and you kind of try to stab the fruit so you can get a piece to like separate it from the from the hole and like eat it. Because I would chop the fruit. And um, you know if you hit that fork with the container it makes, it breaks. It breaks the container. You might not be able to use it later for liquids or soup or whatever you want to put inside. So just having to wait for the for the fruit to kind of like not be so frozen so you can like cut it um, with a fork or whatever it is, trying to eat it. Um, um, let's see. Oh yes, another obstacle. Um, I started with apples because that's, that's what I had available. Uh, but then I ran out and the next option was mangoes, which I really like. But mangoes are a little more difficult, they're more juicy, and, um, you know, you have to wash it, depends if you want to peel it, and then the seed is, like, enormous, it's, like, half of the fruit, so it's kind of difficult, and it's very tricky, especially when, um, when it comes to that fruit, because you don't know if it's ripe on the bottom or not, like, uh, after you peel it, you don't know if it's going to be good, and so you have to decide whether you just cut it or if you will bite into it and so um both are messy because it's a messy fruit 
but um i just it didn't appeal to me as much as eating apples and that that was an obstacle um let's see another obstacle that i have right now um is melon and watermelon that's what i have um for options right now um you know you have to peel it wash it and then peel it because you can't really consume melon and watermelon peeling uh, not only that but you have to remove the seeds like cut it in half and then remove the seeds um uh that's that's also another victory that has to do with that because i i like planting the seeds uh, i like raising um uh like plants so i really enjoy that which really makes a, a small difference but it helps the the environment which we which i learned about <laughs> recently in this class um let's see oh victory um i used to not like pears but um pears was like this third option i had during this challenge uh and um i like them now especially uh frozen that's that's really nice that i uh discover that new like for it um however obstacle um of course waiting uh i did make a reward system in the uh contract i made at the beginning but i didn't really follow it so that's probably something i would have changed um i really like the food challenge because it was a healthy change and um you know it helps to eat fruit every day and i would really like to continue it because i know that i could have done better i I really want to look forward to eating fruit every day, and hopefully by the end of the, sem of the summer, I can officially say I eat fruit every day <laughs> without like, oh, I, I forgot yesterday or I missed the day last week, you know, just consistently eating fruit, making sure it doesn't go to waste. Um, and this, this will really help me move on to larger goals, um, like exercising. Um, but like, like I said, one step at a time, baby steps. Um, something I would change would be to have someone. Uh, because like, like it's mentioned in the textbook, having a buddy really helps. Like someone that's there with you, someone that will remind you. And speaking of which, I would have maybe set alarms, depending, uh, to remind me to like eat fruit. Or, um, I, I really should have done this. Um, eat fruit with every meal. That way, um, it's not random. Like when you eat fruit, it's with the meal, so it's um, you get used to it. It becomes a habit, and it becomes easier instead of just relying on memory or or something like that to eat it to eat fruit. Mm, I also could have uh, posted it on social media. I I really enjoy doing that, sharing uh, uh kind of like my personal life with others, um, online, especially uh, my friends. For example, when I exercise, like a jog walk, uh, like it would be like 30 minutes and that I would do that. I'd come back and then film like a 30 second little uh, clip video talking about it. And at the end, I would be like, hey, stay active, you know, and um, that, that that was nice. That was that was cool. And so being I think I, that would be nice to do that with fruit and actually show people that, hey, like, okay, it's possible. You should try it too. <laughs> just, uh, just being out there, um, um, and not just keeping the victories to myself. I feel like that could have kept me going, and I wish I could have done that more uh, on my in my fruit journey. Um, I learned that change is hard, and that it's difficult to stick to uh, something as simple as eating fruit, especially when I have to do it. Um, before at work, when I worked, um, back when. Uh, elementary classes were um still going for the little ones i i would get food at at the school at lunch and um you know they give you like milk and the main food and then a fruit you know and i would most likely eat it but now that i'm home now that classes are over over there um the responsibility the responsibility falls on me even more i have to make sure i have fruit and i have to make sure i eat it so I'm I'm responsible twice as much, and that that really affects whether I do it or not. So that's um, that's something that I I realized with myself. Um, let's see. Uh, 
da, 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 da. Okay, so like I said, I I know I can do it, and I I really look forward to doing it. Um, so what does this uh help me at all? So I I, I recently saw a Zoom event for uh coaching, which is what I'm going to do at the end of like this whole minor. Um. Uh, and I, I now have a better picture of what it means to be a coach. And I honestly think that um, this really helps with, with doing that. Because um, it depends what type of person you are and what works for you. Sometimes um, you don't know what works for you. And that's okay. That's all right. It's important that people know that. And so as a coach, knowing that, that would really help. Because it motivates people to so like, hey, it's okay. You don't need to. You don't need to uh, panic. You'll figure it out. It'll be fine. And so uh, it's really key to start small. And um, that way you're not overwhelmed. By like, oh, I have to do this. I have to do that. Oh, my goodness. No, it's just small. Fruit every day. And like, it, it's it's easier to just focus on one little thing. Uh, motivation is super important. Without it, victories won't come. Which is why we have to remember the purpose. Why are we even here? Why did we start? And... Um, uh, I know that I still have a lot to learn, but then again, this is my first class in this minor, so um, I'm, I'm really grateful for this project and um, because it taught me so much about myself and the world we live in. So thank you to my professors and everyone.